what's up everyone welcome back to my channel so this is gonna be part two of my three-part series on how to create an app with no code using Figma and Bravo um, in my last one last week uh, we kind of went over the basics of Bravo and how we can actually design our app in Figma uh, how to use Bravo's containers and tags to frame our app. And then we also learned how to use the Bravo Vision app to preview what our app would look and feel like um, before the final publishing. Going into part two, uh, we're gonna learn how to uh, connect third-party data or any database that you want to Bravo and how we can connect that data from the database to our app. So instead of using placeholders, we can actually fill in certain elements with the actual information and data we get from elsewhere. If you already have a database that we're gonna get information from, uh, which I do have one that we're gonna use for our COVID tracking. So I'm gonna go over how we're going to access the website or the API that I found for the COVID tracking information and we're going to import it into Bravo and we're going to use uh, Bravo's database to choose certain elements from the COVID tracking API and then we're going to use um, that information and link it to elements uh, that we have in our uh, Bravo app. All right, so we're over here. We're uh, right now. I have opened the uh, Bravo dashboard, and I have my completed app design here in my projects. Now I went ahead and I up. Uh, I linked down below the Figma file of the full app design. In the last video, we didn't do the whole app design. I kind of just went over the fundamentals on one page. So if you do want to download the whole um, Figma design file uh, it should be linked in the description down below but before we get into the actual uh, project on the left hand side here we're gonna look at the data library so in Bravo this is where you can add your different databases whether it be from third-party APIs you can use Airtable if you ever used Airtable it's kind of like creating databases like spreadsheets uh, in a spreadsheet format um, so those are some stock ones that they um, give to you uh, in the Bravo app but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a new collection because we're gonna uh, grab data from a third-party API for our COVID tracking so I'm gonna click on new collection as you can see Airtable is something that Bravo um, has kind of some integrated things with but we're gonna choose custom API. Uh, we're gonna give it a name, so I'll just name it COVID tracking, and I'm gonna put 2.0 just because I already have um, one already made. I'm gonna hit save. Now, when you're in the database section, um, the main part here is this top part. It's gonna have a request URL. So this is gonna be the URL that Bravo is going to either get, post, put, patch, delete, whatever you want to do with the database. Uh, for this one, we're only getting information, so we're just going to leave it on get. Now up here I have the um, website that I'm going to be grabbing this information from and it's covidtracking.com. Um, up here in the data, there is a data API section and they have basically all the different uh, areas that we can pull data from. Now, over here, we're gonna choose the current US values. And over here they have, um, we're gonna choose the JSON format and we're gonna open up this link here. So I'm just gonna open up in a new tab. And you can see right over here, this is gonna have um, a JSON formatted data table of all the information that this API post. So we're gonna take this URL, we're gonna copy it, we're gonna go back to Bravo, and instead of this example URL here, I'm gonna paste in the one that we just copied. And if we hit send on the right, down here at the bottom, we're gonna get all that information um, 
in a nice ish organized way so it's a little easier for us to read what data is actually uh, we're actually getting from the URL now on our main screen of our app we needed the total positive and the total death count um, in the US so all this information here is the total of the US that we're getting from that website so right here the current US values that's what we got so in here there should be um, positive which is this one right here so this is the total number of positive cases so we can just check that off on the left here and not the death increase we want the total so all the way down here um, we see um, the data zero and then dot death so those are the only two that we're going to use in this example here um, and what we can do is once we have that all set um, I'm going to rename this as US total right and Bravo as you can see right here um, saves it automatically whenever you make changes so if I come back to data library here I should see my COVID tracking it kind of cut off but this should be my COVID tracking two point now after we get our data from the database we actually need to link it back to our app and tell uh, Bravo what are we replacing what elements are we changing and what are we connecting the data to so we come back up to our projects here I'm going to open up my project file here so if you downloaded or if you copied um, the Figma design down below uh, in our last one we only created the main screen here but I also have screens for different parts of the app as well so I'm going to open up the uh, main screen here now when we click on it it's going to have a data binding option now we get to choose what database we want the information to, co to come from so if I click on it I'm going to click on the COVID tracking 2.0 the one that we just made uh, because I had this connected already it's just asking me if I'm sure that I want to disconnect everything uh, so you're gonna choose the main database and then you're gonna choose which request and we only have one um, in the next part I'm gonna go into how we can have multiple data requests but again this one we're just doing some simple um, binding of the data and we only have this one request so that's the one we're choosing now down here it's gonna say select visual element and it's gonna have the frames that we have or the containers that we have in our app design now what we need to do is select the element that we want to replace with uh, with the data from our database so under here under stats I have a text with zero zero and another text with zero zero uh, I believe this one up here is the positive and then this one down here is the death count so if I select the 00, zero because I don't want it to show 00, zero, I want it to actually show the number of positive cases. I'm going to click on it and it's going to show me right here this drop down. So right now it has none, but if I drop it down, I have the options to choose data that we checked off from our database before. So if you remember, we checked off the positive and the depth. Um, whatever information you check off is going to be accessible to you here when you're doing your data binding. So I'm going to choose positive for this one and you can see it's connected to something. And then I'm going to select the other one and then instead of positive I'm going to do death. So you can see Bravo has saved it up there. And that's how you're going to connect your information um, or your data from your databases that you create to your actual app. So now we're going to take a look at Bravo Vision and we're going to open up this app and instead of the zero placeholders that we have here, uh, we should actually see the data that we're getting from our database. All right, so now we have um, our Bravo design. We linked our data from our database to our app. So now we should actually see our app update with real time numbers that we grabbed from uh, our COVID-19 tracking API. So uh, I'm gonna bring up my screen. It should be on the side here somewhere. I'm gonna open up our app. And on our main page, instead of seeing zeros for the placeholders, we should actually see the actual positive 
uh, cases and the death count here in the US. So again, this is happening through Bravo. Um, again, we're taking the information that we got from the database, connecting it to Bravo, and Bravo is now replacing those elements that we chose with the information that we decided to fill it in with from our API. Cool, so I hope you folks enjoyed part two of this three-part series on how to develop an app with no code. Uh, on the next and final part, I'm gonna go over how you can make multiple data requests and how you can use those different requests in different areas of your app and some other tags and features that I implemented into this COVID tracking app. So again, if you folks enjoy this tutorial series, subscribe, leave a like, uh, and in the comments, uh, tell me what you think. If you like these type of series, I can make more. So I hope you folks enjoyed this one, and until next time.